uh, Project Sonic Pentaforce is a project which is uh, which consists at the moment of uh, four different projects, uh, such as interactive installation room, interactive installation before and beyond, uh, interactive installation uh, invisible sculptures, and interactive platform uh, in, uh, invisible island. Uh, the idea behind uh, the project uh, Sonic Metaphor is to explore further. Uh, sonic interaction design, specifically how we can use sounds which are which we are addressing to certain meanings, and by doing that, how we can uh, control the interactive system and achieve uh, better experience and better embodiment of the system. In the particular case of interactive installation room, we are using a sound of uh, car engine. So when we were kids, uh, we used to play with the father's car. We used to enter the car and uh, making sounds such as in that particular uh, situation for us, this sound uh, was representing movement, or was representing us driving and moving. Uh, and uh, upon that metaphor, uh, we are trying in the installation room, first of all, to move us again in our childhood, to recall memories from the childhood, but at the same time, by uh, controlling the system with a specific sound we are, we are making, uh, to increase our engagement and to shorten the learning curve, considering how we can use the system itself and how, how we can interact with the system. Uh, in, uh, in the case of interactive installation before and beyond, uh, we have actually a, a situation where to every participant is uh, addressed one string, that string has a certain note, and when the participants are entering the space of the, uh, of the installation, by moving, uh, they are actually creating kind of composition made of uh, 11 tons of uh, violoncello. Uh, again, um, we are using in that particular installation sounds from the universe, and uh, by doing that, our metaphors are directed to uh, creation of the universe, as well as, uh, in a sense of embodiment and engagement, uh, our creative power to create compositions by using certain sounds, and by using that controlling the system by controlling the sound itself and the composition you're making with other participants. Uh, in case of Invisible Island, which is an interactive platform uh, created uh, for uh, social interaction between uh, kids with uh, disabilities, in this particular case visual disabilities and uh, kids without disabilities, uh, we are using sound as, a, first of all, as a metaphor of the characters which are involved in uh, storytelling, we are trying to achieve uh, by using uh, the music of island platform. But from the other side, we are using sound to uh, give a metaphor for kids who are visually impaired about the environment where, at the, where, where the uh, story is happening at that particular moment. So, they, upon the response, the sound response they are getting from the platform, they can choose in what environment they could start their story. We are talking about forest, river, and mountain. Uh, and the, the last uh, project at the moment, which is involved in a research topic uh, called uh, Sonic Metaphors, uh, are invisible st uh, sculptures. Uh, we are using a sound connected with location-based media, and uh, we are creating uh, sculptures made of magnetic frictions, but those magnetic frictions are also referring to uh, a sound response connected with the position of the participant. So participants are addressing certain forms, completely invisible forms, abstract forms, to, to sounds. And by doing that, they are making metaphor out of that sound they're experiencing within the, within the installation. We are supporting, by doing this uh, different kind of installations, we are supporting uh, uh, interact, interaction design principle in which uh, we are trying to uh, play with uh, known meanings and unknown. 
if we are playing with unknown meanings, then we need to, to address certain meaning through the process of interaction, and then upon that, we can develop uh, user, user experience. Uh, solid metaphors are also referring and connected with uh, uh, synesthetic experience, and uh, definitely uh, further, uh, further research direction uh, connected to the project Sonic Metaphors will go toward uh, Sonic uh, 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 the, the, will go to uh, synesthetic experience, uh, synesthetic metaphors, and wider, uh, wider application of sound within the interactive system in the sense of how we can improve user experience and how we can improve user embodiment with the interactive system itself. Future plans for all of these projects is, uh, first of all, uh, most of those projects are already exposed once and we had a user study. Mm -hmm. uh, considering not only aspect of sound interaction but also other aspects. Uh, the future of this uh, project is to uh, expose at least one more time all this installation to users and to collect data which will refer to uh, to Sonic uh, to Sonic metaphor research tool. That's the, the first thing to do. The second one is to create Sonic vocabulary we can use uh, in future uh, interactive uh, inter, uh, interface design and interactive systems uh, like uh, responsive environments or uh, virtual reality. So to use uh, Sonic vocabulary with Sonic metaphors to control game environment, to control living environment, to control uh, 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 certain agents we are communicating with. But as I said, in a sense of not producing any sound, but producing particular sound and addressing particular meaning to that sound, and the response of the system should refer to that meaning and should refer to metaphors we are addressing.